Good morning, coding friends. Hope you're all having a great day. I know I am. I wanted to go and we're going to work on a new game. This is kind of random, reminiscent of the um, T-Rex game. I don't know if many of you know it. I'm sure everybody's played it. <coughs> Excuse me. So here's, here's an example of it. Okay. Just a T-Rex, the, the dino runner, right? So if I just play, there it goes. Dinosaur's running along and just jumping over the cactus, right? A couple different uh, stops. You just go along, you get a score. And as we continue on, that score continues to build. When we get to like 100, 200, and we kind of see a bonus. There's 300, there's our bonus. But the minute I touch something, it goes the game over. So here's a little style that I built, similar to that game, or kind of at least the same type of game play. But we're going to change it up a little bit. Instead of the dino, I'm going to add a car. Okay, we'll keep the cactus. Background's a little bit more colorful. I'm going to hit reset. I'm going to hit run. So here my vehicle goes. I'm jumping the cactus. And if I touch a cactus, game over. All right, so here we go. If I jump over the cactus, I'm going to get a score. And this is moving way slow. I probably need to turn some stuff off on my computer. I got a little bit too much going. But you can see my score is going up. Cactus is coming. I do have this built to where if my score goes up a certain level, then the background does speed up. All right, we're going to stop there. <coughs> so here we go. I've got a couple of styles of cactus in here. I kind of use the same cactus, change the way it looked, and then there's one that wiggles back and forth. So three different kind of cactus similar to that game. We got a cloud that's moving. Ah, I'm waiting for that other cactus, but I've got it set on a random. And so far we're not randomly there is the other one, and this one here that just goes back and forth. All right, so there we go. Let's just go ahead and get started on building this, okay? So in here you can see I've got a background, okay? I've got the CA, that's my cactus. You can see the image there. I've got the cloud, okay? I've got my player. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got two variables. One's called face, one's called score. They're both set to zero to begin with. I set just a plain blue background that we can see. I've got my player and I've got my rotation, velocity, key down. So I've been using the space bar, but I think the arrow key might be better. So this next one, I'll probably use arrow key. We've got the Y. So that's our player changing when he goes up. We've got our cloud that's moving across the screen, our cactus, okay, and we can see that it's going to random number, and our score, and we got an if-else in here, we've got face, and we've got a couple of if-elses in here, our text, and to see if we are touching that cactus. So here we go. Back up. We're going to open a new code.org. I'll leave this one up so we can refer back to it if we would like. I'm just going to go to create. And right from create, I can go in, make sure you're signed in so it saves. But I can go to game lab. All right, and here we are in game lab. So we're ready to start creating. I'm going to start with creating my sprites. Okay. 
Um, one thing I should have done is went and showed you what I have for sprites. Got my monster truck, right? Got my cactus. Got my animation one. This is just the background that I built. I'll click on there. You can see that I kind of changed it. That's how we get these little different um, designs in the ground. Animation two. This is my cloud. And in here, you can see that I've kind of changed the cloud a little bit just to give him a little bit more detail. My cactus, I did a little bit of changing on him. Now this one's where he dances back and forth. Then my game over screen. So we're gonna go ahead, get started. I know I'm gonna want that game over background, okay? That's gonna be uh, my my first thing. So on mine, you can see my background that I started with was just this here. And I just took and drew that. So we're going to do that. So sprite. We're going to create this sprite. Okay. And it's going to be background. And I'm going to say D for dirt. Now, if I were to just call this background, sometimes code.org has a hard time of, of realizing what you're talking about because background is kind of a key word um, because it is an actual block as well. So if we give it a different name like background D or background dirt, that'll keep uh, our program from becoming confused. So. We have that much. We gotta go in and draw this animation. So here we go, add a new animation. We're just gonna draw it. I'm gonna go down and I'm going to, I gotta zoom out a little bit because my recording is right in the way. Can I move it? Ooh, I did move it. Maybe I moved it. All right, we're gonna get a color and I wanna go to something that's a little brownish color. So I like that. There we go. And we're going to go with a, I like that or that better. That's better. There we go. There's my exact code if you wanted to put in the code, but just mix it yourself. Find something that you like and go with it. So I've got my color picked. Okay. I can go ahead and start just drawing. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so that I can see my whole screen. I use my mouse, I know most of you probably don't, I can zoom in and out of this image. So here we go, just a pencil. And I just wanna kinda draw some ground. It doesn't have to be perfect. We don't want it straight across because we want it to have a little bit of elevation change. Now that I have that, I'm gonna grab my paint bucket, same color, just fill it. Perfect, now. I messed up there. Now, I don't want to add a new frame. I want to come up here where it says duplicate this frame. And I want to duplicate this. So now I got frame two. Now, looks the same, but I want to change this. So I can grab my pencil. Maybe I want there to be a bump right in this area. So I'm going to draw the bump. Take my paint bucket, fill it. That's probably good on that one. Duplicate that. This time I'm gonna take my eraser tool and maybe I'm gonna get rid of this bump and we're gonna go a little lower. So now this is a little bit of a change. Maybe I'm gonna make this dip down a little bit more and maybe I want this to be a little lower. Maybe this becomes a hole. There, I like that. So now I've got that, I can duplicate this one. And you can see how my ground changes here. So now I think I wanna do a little bit of a change, maybe starting here. Not much, but a little. I'll fill this back in a little bit. Now you see how this is getting a little straight? That's okay. Or maybe I fill this in with a couple more bumps. Now, if it's getting hard to, to fill those in with your pencil, you can always grab that paint bucket and fill them and fill it, okay? 
Now we got this. Let's check it. I like that. Back to my code. Got my background. I'm going to go to my set animation. Maybe. I'm just going to take this and copy it. And it is animation one. Pretty generic. I should change that for good naming conventions. But right now, let's just get this built. Put my draw sprite in, and we're going to watch it. Ooh, I like it. I don't know what's going on up here. We may have to go in and look at that. That should not be there. But here's the thing. Too small, right? So let's fix that. Sprite scale. Now, yours might not be like that. I was messing with my mouse key. And I'm going to go probably two probably is not enough. Yeah, we're going to go up to like five. Not 52, five. There we go. And now that stuff that was up at the top is gone as well. So reset run. And you can see it kind of changing. If I don't like that, I can put in more. Now here's the thing. Notice it's not changing constantly. The reason for that is we draw it one time, and now all the high points are visible, and those low points are not. So next thing we're going to add, we got to get our background color in here. And as you saw, mine was just sky blue. Please hit run. There we go. And now you can see that ground changing. So I like that. What should we do next? Well, I think next, why don't we go in and start adding our cactus, okay? So Sprite, we're gonna grab a new variable. Let me name it. Enemy. That's a good way because it, it is our enemy. This is what we're trying to avoid. Okay. So we got that. I'm going to drop in the animation, but as you guys saw, I do not have an animation for a cactus yet. So let's go in here. Let's go to add. And if I just go and type in. CAC, there's my cactus. So I'm going to add that. Done. That's cactus one. So now I'm going to duplicate this. But on my second one, I'm going to just flip it right here. These two arrows that are pointed up, it's flipped. Now instead of copy cactus one, this is going to be two. Okay. Now, here's the thing. We're going to copy again. Now, I've got three cactuses on here, but these two look the same. But we'll fix that. Going to get rid of that. This is going to be three. Okay. Now, the way I made three is we're pointed a little bit to the left, pointed to the right. This one here, I just added a frame. No, I didn't. If I hover up here, I can duplicate this frame. And then I can come over and I can flip it. So now this one goes back and forth. So that simple. We can change our animations. So I got cactus one, two, and three. Now, if you want to spice it up a little bit, what I did, you can take your little eyedropper. You can click on there. Now it gives me this green colors, and I can kind of just go find a highlight color. There's a little bit of a lighter green. So I'm going to take my pencil tool, and I can just draw my cactus, draw some. And it just gives it a little bit of character. And that way, when we see them, 
It's got a little bit of character to it. There we go. So let's go back to our code. Now here's the thing. I'm going to start with my cactus one. There it is. 